Hi, my name's Chris Bullock from the Wandering Bull Trading Post. You can go to wanderingbull.com to shop our unique craft supplies, and please follow us on Facebook. Today we're actually going to talk about tin cone application, and in this case we're going to use copper cones. Copper was introduced in this country, Europeans were bringing it over, there was a little bit of copper use that the native people were doing prior to um, the Europeans arriving in this country, very little. And the applications are the bottom of bags and this knife sheath as well. I've, I've had a little pet peeve for a long time on this application. A lot of people want to do a tin cone and then squeeze the end of it flat. And you'll see that. I judge people by the quality of their craft work on how they apply their cones. To me, this is not their proper way. So, with that said, the Eastern Woodlands Indians were using brass and copper. The Plains people were using tin. They were actually cutting up old tin cans that were discarded by wagon trains going west. They weren't wasting anything. So this particular bag is a reproduction of a Cheyenne River bag. And these were beaded 1890s, 1910, with these pictorial figures, a man and a woman and a couple of teepees. And the Native American, the American flag in the center of this bag represents the land that these Native people live on, breathe on. This is home, the flag represents them. They love the country, they're veterans, they fought for this country, and they're fighting for this country right now. So with that said, we're gonna look at these cones on the side. The Plains people use horse hair in their cones. The Eastern Woodlands Indians use deer hair, which is dyed red. So um, we'll start with the cones. We're gonna take a little bit of a deer tail, and you see the brighter red, that was white at one point. It's been dyed. The darker color is the darker color on the deer. So we want to use the bright red. Take a pinch. I have about that much there here. I'm going to separate the short here. Basically about that much. I'm going to take this case I'm using brain tan deer skin. I'm gonna put a little loop in. I'm gonna insert the hair in it. Okay, so that hair is a mess. I'm gonna take my comb and I'm gonna insert the wide end. I'm gonna insert the lace into the wide end pull it out the narrow end. So now my hair is still a mess. I'm going to pull that guy tight. So the knot is inside of the cone. So if I wanted to, I could squeeze the cones with my fingers a little bit to make it a little tighter. In this instance, there is no need to squeeze the top of it. So that's held in place. And if I want to apply it to obviously the bottom of the bag, I would Take my awl, poke a hole in that, and then slide this lace inside the hole, pull it out on the back side. So now there's my cone, tie a knot back here to hold that guy in place. Pull it tight, voila. So you can leave the lace, the tail from that, or you could snip it right off. Pull that cone right down on top of it. No need to squeeze it. And the same goes with the horse hair. The horse hair has been dyed red. I'm gonna snip a, we don't need that much. That's probably enough. My horse hair. I'm going to take my deerskin lace again, tie a simple knot, basically all you need is one little knot. 
I have done restoration work on old pieces and have pulled apart cones to add hair into it. And inside of the cones was a soup label can. So prior to them being cut into cones, it was a soup can. And the label was left in place on the inside of the cone. Um, so I'm gonna right through. I'm gonna pull that tight. Voila. So that's how I made all of the cones on this bag. And sometimes they're cut square, so same thing. And if you want, you can cut this guy off as well. So that knot is not gonna come undone because it's inside the cone. You can slide the cone down a little bit. And same thing, that's how that cone would be applied to that bag. So 101 on tin cone, these happen to be copper, but the same technique applies, whether it be copper, brass, aluminum. So here's the, the copper cone with horse hair in it, and here's the copper cone with deer hair in it. Same technique, do not squeeze the end of it, and uh, voila, you can be applied to bags, knife sheaths, and uh, once again, please don't squeeze the cones. That just shows the quality of craftsmanship. Force that cone around it, hold it tight, pull the knot right up inside of the cone, and you'll have great results and fine looking examples. Once again, you know, the Native Americans are recycling material. They're not discarding those things. So recycle, reuse, and uh, keep America clean.